Good day, everyone. Welcome to Nanan Business, where we delve into the world of commerce, breaking down complex business concepts into easily digestible content. Today, we're turning our attention to the electric vehicle, or EV, industry. Many EV companies, despite their potential, end up failing. We believe it's crucial to understand why. So whether you're a business enthusiast or a potential investor, this topic is sure to pique your interest. Stay tuned as we unravel the reasons behind the high failure rate of EV companies. Our first case study is Better Place, an ambitious EV company that went bankrupt in 2013. Better Place, a name that embodied the very essence of its mission, aimed to make the world a better place by revolutionizing the electric vehicle industry. It had a unique vision, swapping out batteries at dedicated stations, much like filling up a traditional car at a gas station. It was a bold and innovative idea, one that garnered attention, excitement, and substantial investment. However, Better Place's journey was not as smooth as they'd hoped. The company's downfall can be attributed to several factors. One of the main reasons was its over-reliance on government subsidies. When these subsidies dried up, Better Place found itself in a precarious financial situation. Moreover, the company expanded too quickly before establishing a solid customer base. It ventured into markets such as Israel and Denmark without adequately understanding the local dynamics and customer preferences. This rapid expansion made it difficult for the company to sustain its operations. Perhaps the most significant factor that led to Better Place's failure was the lack of a sustainable business model. The company's approach to battery swapping required significant infrastructure investment, which became increasingly untenable as the company expanded. Better Place's story teaches us the importance of a sustainable business model and measured growth. It reminds us that while innovation and ambition are crucial in business, they must be balanced with economic viability and a clear understanding of market dynamics. Next, we turn our attention to Fisker Automotive, a promising EV company that declared bankruptcy in 2013. Fisker Automotive, once a bright star in the electric vehicle industry, was founded by Henrik Fisker in 2007. The company's flagship product, the Fisker Karma, was a plug-in hybrid luxury sports sedan that turned heads and promised a new era of sustainable luxury. Yet despite its initial promise and the hype it generated, Fisker Automotive met an untimely end. Several factors contributed to the downfall of Fisker Automotive. First and foremost was the high cost of production. The Fisker Karma was a luxury vehicle, with a price tag to match. This made it inaccessible to a broad market segment, limiting its potential customer base significantly. Further compounding this issue were ineffective marketing strategies. Fisker Automotive failed to effectively communicate the value and benefits of its product to potential customers. This lack of clear messaging resulted in a weak market presence and low sales volume. Additionally, Fisker Automotive encountered a series of technical issues with their vehicles. Recalls due to battery safety concerns and customer reports of vehicle malfunctions further tarnished the company's reputation and consumer trust in its product. The tale of Fisker Automotive serves as a stark reminder of the challenges facing EV companies. It underscores the critical role of not only having a robust and reliable product, but also effective marketing to communicate its value. Fisker Automotive's failure underscores the critical role of effective marketing and robust product development. Now that we've looked at specific cases, let's identify common mistakes that these and other failed electric vehicle companies have made. One of the most prevalent mistakes is the lack of a sustainable business model. Some companies focus so much on the product that they neglect the business side of things. They fail to consider how they will generate consistent revenue, manage costs, and scale up production. Hence, they often find themselves in financial troubles that they can't outrun no matter how innovative or high quality their vehicles may be. Then there's the issue of poor marketing strategies. It's not enough to just build a great electric vehicle. People need to know about it. Failed companies often underestimate the importance of a well-thought-out marketing plan. They fail to effectively communicate the value of their product to potential customers and to distinguish themselves from competitors. Remember, in the world of business, obscurity is a greater threat than incompetence. Moreover, many unsuccessful electric vehicle companies have a tendency to rely heavily on government subsidies. While these can provide a temporary boost, they are not a long-term solution. Companies that become too dependent on them can find themselves in a precarious situation when those subsidies are reduced or eliminated. Finally, there's the failure to address technical issues. Electric vehicles are complex machines and technical problems are inevitable. 
However, how a company responds to these issues is crucial. Some companies ignore or downplay these problems hoping they'll go away, but they don't. Instead, they damage the company's reputation and consumer trust. In essence, these common mistakes, lack of a sustainable business model, poor marketing strategies, over-reliance on subsidies, and failure to address technical issues can lead to a company's downfall. It's a tough road to navigate, but by learning from the past, future electric vehicle companies can avoid these pitfalls. Understanding these common mistakes can help future EV companies avoid a similar fate. As we come to the end of our exploration, remember, understanding these failures can be a stepping stone to success. We've journeyed through the rise and fall of Better Place and Fisker Automotive, two companies that dared to dive into the electric vehicle industry, a sector filled with potential but also rife with challenges. Better Place's vision of replacing petroleum with electricity was indeed a noble one. However, their downfall was precipitated by overambition and a failure to accurately gauge the market's readiness for such a drastic change. On the other hand, Fisker Automotive, despite creating a visually stunning electric vehicle, fell victim to quality control issues and an over-reliance on government funding. These case studies provide valuable lessons for aspiring entrepreneurs and business enthusiasts alike. They underscore the importance of a measured approach, understanding your market, maintaining product quality, and the need for a sound financial strategy that doesn't solely rely on external funding. But let's not forget, while these companies may have stumbled, they also paved the way for others to learn and grow. They highlighted the potential pitfalls, and in doing so, have made the path clearer for those who dare to follow in their footsteps. Thank you for joining us in this insightful journey. If you found this video informative, do consider subscribing to Nanan Business for more business insights. Until next time, keep learning and growing.